build trees and put them together uh, in a bundle and they would, they would unload them, run down to a moat or run down to a creek and flip them over as quickly as they could without getting shot by an arrow or a spear or whatever might be thrown at them. And if you throw enough capers over and you throw them all perfectly in line, you can then build a bridge that crosses the moat or crosses the creek or river. And that's the goal. At least that's the way the story I'm going to tell goes. Steve Peterson on the qualifying or on the scoring caper. Here we go. It's a little bit heavier. He just figured that out. Now he's going to start his run. He's going to stop, pull the caper into his belly, pop it up, and over it goes. Doesn't get a 12 o'clock, but he tries real hard. And how we'll know it's a 12 o'clock is Judge Gordon Laws will throw both his hands up in the air just as if an athlete scored a touchdown. So you'll know when it's perfect. Millie's ready to go. She's amped up and excited. You can see it about the smile on her face. Holy cow. Just got to get this bar set up. Now we're going to go 20 feet, I believe now. Is that 19? Only a one foot increment. I believe in you more than that. She says, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny Stone, for believing in me. <laughs> All right. I believe this is Tim Jensen. Could be wrong. It's a little heavier, but he gets it to go up and over. And it's not quite at 12 o'clock. It's going to be on the other side, I think. Maybe at 12.30 or 1 o'clock. I can't tell. All right. These are down on the hammer, heavy hammer. 